Hello dear students and welcome back to your digital classroom. I hope everyone is enjoying sound health. Students, today we are going to discuss chapter 3 from your textbook First Flight. Two stories about flying. One, His First Flight by Liam O'Flaherty. So let us begin with the chapter overview. This story is about a family of seagulls. There was a young seagull in the family who was unable to fly even after several tries. The story highlights the importance of family and friends in one's life. It also gives the message that one needs to believe in self to overcome all the hurdles in one's own life. Now, let us look at the summary of the story. The young seagull's fear of flying. The young seagull was alone on his ledge, that is a cliff. His siblings, that is his two brothers and his sister had already learned to fly. The young seagull was afraid to fly because of the long stretch and depth of the sea that he could see in front of him. He thought that his wings will not support him, so he ran back to his hole on the ledge. Therefore, the young seagull failed to gather up the courage to fly. His father and mother tried to persuade him to fly. They scolded and even threatened him that if he does not try to fly, they would let him die of hunger. But the young seagull did not move. Parents leave the young seagull alone. 24 hours passed and nobody came near the young seagull. All the day, the young seagull watched his parents teaching his brothers and his young sister how to fly. They were also teaching them how to swim the waves and how to dive for catching the fish. He had seen his elder brother catch the first herring that's a soft fin sea fish. When his brother ate it, his parents praised him. The whole family taunted the young seagull for his covered eyes, and he was left alone on the ledge. The Hungry Young Seagull As time passes, the young seagull could not tolerate the hunger and the heat. He moves closer to the ledge and pretends to fall asleep, but nobody notices him. His two brothers and his sister were sleeping and his father was cleaning his feathers on his white back. Only his mother noticed him. She was standing high on the plateau with a fish. The young seagull saw the food and immediately he felt more hungry. The mother's trick. Realizing his madness for the food, his mother tried to tempt him with pieces of fish. Initially, she tore the fish in the manner the young seagull loved to eat. That means she was enticing him for the food. This sight maddened the young seagull because he was already so hungry. Then the mother flew nearer to him which filled the young seagull with joy. However. The mother stopped near the edge of the ledge. Out of excitement and hunger, the young seagull ran towards the mother and finally dived for the fish. The Joy of Flight Initially, the seagull was scared and screamed with fear when he dived because he was going for a free fall. But soon, he felt his wings spread outwards and he began to fly slowly downwards and upwards. He was no longer afraid of flying. The family's celebration. So once the young seagull took his first flight, his parents, brothers and young sister flew around him. They all started cheering him up. When all the family members landed on the green sea, they called the young seagull to be with them. As the young seagull landed on the green sea, his legs sank into it. He tried to fly again out of fright, but he was tired and weak with hunger. Finally, his feet sank into the green sea, his belly touched it and he was floating on it. 
the family members praised him and offered him pieces of dogfish as he had made his first flight so i hope the chapter is clear to all of you and you have enjoyed the story and also learned the lesson that we need to overcome our fears to be successful in life so until next time happy learning you take good care of yourselves bye bye